I want to begin by asking about what are you working next? <laughs> or, or, or what's in the stealth mode, I would say? Um, first of all, uh, the key to my success is that I, I, I only take credit for the work of others. And if you look who actually does the work, it's not me. So I have a wonderful staff of Vidacity here in India that works day and night for me. I right. just take the credit. And the same is true for self-driving cars. Um, one thing I'm really excited about right now is uh, application of artificial intelligence to medicine. Um, I have come to believe that a lot of um, diseases that kill people are probably preventable if we had just uh, an AI system that did a better job screening for those diseases. So an example would be uh, many types of cancer. Uh, cancer often can be cured when caught early, uh, but it gets problematic when it starts spreading. Um, we recently at Stanford built an AI system to find skin cancer uh, using an iPhone, and we proved to ourselves that we were able to find skin cancer more accurately than even the best human dermatologists. That to me is exciting because it might mean that skin cancer, which is the world's most common cancer, might be eradicated. And there are three basic technologies when it comes to future of transportation. One is autonomous, one is uh, flying cars, and then there is Hyperloop as well. What, according to you, will be the first technology to be at least widely usable or at least you know get a start? So I, I'm going to knock on wood here. Um, um, I, my, my secret dream is that the, the flying car will eclipse the self-driving car. Uh, we're going to see. I think um, many more work has gone into self-driving cars, and my, my own Google team is doing phenomenally well. Uh, but I think in the grand scheme of thing, if you could do the same 100, 200 meters in the air, be better off than on the ground. So it's very simple. Mm -hmm. um, Hyperloop is an interesting concept. Um, it does require infrastructure. So I don't see a Hyperloop go from house to house. I see it as a very smart connection between two different cities. Right. And it will complete, compete more with jets at this point than it compete with short range transportation. Mm -hmm. And you know, in a country like India, what do you think, you know, what the technology will come first? It's going to be the autonomous vehicle or the flying cars? Well, <laughs> I would say right now the, the self-driving cars have a leg up because of all the work that went into it and all the investments. Um, and I think the, the flying stuff people don't take quite as seriously yet. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I can tell you four years ago when I, when I was on, on, on a show like yours and told people I work on self-driving cars, people would smile. Right. Know? And now it's serious all of a sudden, oh my God, it's real. Uh, four years from now, we're going to sit here and the flight stuff will be damn serious, I promise you. And cities like Bangalore will be reaching out to us saying, hey, we want this now.